Greetings folks, my name is Ronnie. I'm a part-time seller of many stuff and things on a little website called eBay. And in this video, I'm gonna go over my sales report for the time period from August 22nd to August 28th, 2022. We had a very down week compared to the week before, but I'm not mad about it at all. If I told you that you could make $400 into your pocket every single week, would you be mad about that? Just for selling random stuff that you find at a thrift store? I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that at all. Of course, last week I had the biggest week that I'd ever had on eBay. So that means that uh, we've got to come back to reality at some point because we're not going to be able to sell ridiculously large expensive items that we just don't have tons and tons and tons of week over week. So yes, this is a more typical week of sales, but yeah, $640.76 worth of total sales, 20 items sold. So just a little bit under three items per day, that's that's a pretty good goal for me. I try to list five items every day. So if I'm able to sell three items every day, that means that my store is still growing, which is a good thing in a business. Selling costs of $218.39. Total net sales of $393.30 into my pocket. That does not factor in my cost of goods. However, I would estimate my cost of goods to probably be around $50, everything that I sold this week was thrifted goods that I picked up on the very, very cheap or even free at some time. Uh, we had 19 total buyers. Uh, so we had one buyer that bought two items. So that's nifty. Once again, no repeat buyers. Top categories past week were clothing, shoes, and accessories. That's a normal one. That's my least favorite thing to list. And it always kind of hurts my soul to see that up there because I know that I'm going to make good money whenever I list that stuff. But I just don't enjoy doing it. My back always winds up hurting and uh, it's just a little bit more tedious than listing things like toys. Home and Garden, we sold $45.19 worth of stuff in there. The Bacon Wave, man, the Bacon Wave. The Bacon Wave has been good to me. I've sold four of those units at this point now, which is kind of crazy. Every time I find them, they sell very quickly. And then uh, Women's Bags and Handbags. Probably sold like one thing there. So there's our total sales. Breaking it down on the day. We had a good day on Saturday as we usually do. That's the biggest day by far every single week. No difference there. Our selling costs and a breakdown of those selling costs. $218 in total. $84.35 worth of eBay fees. $134.04 worth of shipping labels. Let's get into some items, shall we? I think this week since there was only 20, I might be able to roll through every single item this week. Whereas last week... I just couldn't because I sold 40. So here we go. Bacon Wave, folks. Bacon Wave. I found these. They seemed like they were brand new. They just didn't have the box. Uh, so I listed them as such. $15 a piece. And the same buyer bought both of them for $14.99 each. Plus shipping. I did refund them a little bit on the shipping back end because it wasn't $20 worth of shipping. But Bacon Wave. Bacon Wave. If you find those, pick those up. They sell great. A little disappointed this didn't go for that much, but it is an old school PC game sold for $2 plus shipping. I only had maybe a quarter into it, so I still made money, but it's Lego and it's Harry Potter. Like, come on. Been hanging on to this Brickheads for many, many years. It wound up selling for $13. I got it on clearance many years back for $2.50. So definitely made some money on it, but it was a long hold and uh, really didn't wind up selling for that much. First and only time that I've ever bought and sold Ugg boots. These were picked up at Goodwill for, I want to say that I paid maybe $8 for them. So they were kind of a wash. They were not in great condition. I did wash them, so they're nice and clean. They just didn't present well on the pictures. Uh, but yeah, they did sell for 8 bucks plus shipping. I can't believe this one sold so cheap as well. This North Face Women's uh, Fleece Pullover. Super lightweight, super cozy. $4. $4 is all this uh, piece commanded for it. I don't understand what happened. Like, this is quite a saga with these shoes. I bought these brand new at the flea market. I want to say that I paid 20 bucks for them. I had them listed for $40 for a long time. Had them on promoted listings, so I had tons of watchers, tons of people looking at them, tons of people sending offers for the $25 to $30 range, and I kept holding out because, again, I had $20 into these things. Eventually, I did accept an offer of $25 because I was honestly sick of looking at them. I turned off the promoted listing so I didn't have to pay that this just sold organically so promoted listing I, I don't know if it works or not uh, for whatever reason these had an authenticity guarantee attached to them I don't understand that I thought that was only for more expensive items it didn't cost me anything but I got a notification that 
they were authenticated and that they are authentic New Balance 575 shoes. So I don't know if it's something that the buyer requested and paid for, but again, I don't understand that for such a low cost item. Very weird. So I listed these as, I think they're brand new, but I told folks that, uh, you know, I purchased them at a thrift store, Allegria Black Chloe Napa Clogs. I don't know anything about them. They just caught my eye because they looked to be brand new. And uh, sure enough, they sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. So, you know, if I can find anything that's brand new or is like close to new, especially shoe-wise, then I will probably grab it and list it because it's really easy to list shoes. And if you don't have to do any cleaning, then uh, it's going to be an easy process and you never know what you're going to find. Totally random, but uh, I, I've never even heard of this New Day person or people. I don't know if it's a group or what. It's a WWE thing. Uh, humongous shirt. Yeah, 5XL. 5XL. Sold for $4 plus shipping. Did have some issues in it. I remember maybe like a hole or something. Did I take a picture of the hole? Yeah, maybe it's just like stains. I don't know. But yeah, four, $4 for a tarp size shirt. Are you afraid of the dark? One of my favorite shows as a child scared the crap out of me. I think it came on in like Friday evenings it was it came on, but it was like a, a scary horror show for kids that was on Nickelodeon. I loved it. I saw this game in the thrift store, and I picked it up just out of pure nostalgia. Wound up listing it, uh, and it did sell for 13 bucks plus shipping. Jordache jean jacket. We're on the white-on-white white background, so that one had been listed for a long time. Uh, look at the back of this thing. That's 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 quite lovely. Uh, but yeah, it sold for a best offer, 15 bucks plus shipping. My first good Pokemon card flip. I bought this PSA 10 Zorark on Whatnot. I paid $30 for it, listed it, and a week later it sold for double that $63.99 with free shipping. So, hooray! I'm a Pokemon card flipper. This just makes me so happy. I got all these Z-Coil shoes for free. I got 18 pairs of them, size 6. I sold another two pairs this week, the first of which is this one that I got sold for $60 plus shipping. And the second pair is these lovely things, $75 plus shipping. No cost of goods. Amazing. Sold the LEGO Dimensions Midway Arcade Level Pack. Really cool arcade machine there. I love that. Uh, but yeah, that sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. I paid less than that whenever it was brand new. Several years back, but no longer into Lego, so glad to see that one go. I do like me some Pokemon, and <laughs> me and my son went to McDonald's. They're doing the Pokemon packs again. Uh, they sold us five extra packs of them for $2 a piece. This was one of the cards that we pulled, so we got almost two of our packs paid for just by selling this card and flipping it along to somebody else. $3.39. Free shipping, the cards, whenever they're this low, I just put them in a plain white envelope, put some protection around them, uh, and they just take one stamp. And I get my stamps off of eBay. Roll of 100 for 30 bucks is what I paid, so I've got, you know, like 30 cents worth of shipping into this. So it's pretty good, pretty good flip. Not bad at all. Same story here, just a different card, just a regular common Flaffy from McDonald's. $2.99 free shipping. Very bizarre. So this is the second time that I've sold this purse. Uh, two weeks ago it sold and somebody wanted to return it because they said that it was funky. There was a, uh, that they're really sensitive, that you probably couldn't smell anything, but that they just couldn't deal with it. So they paid for the return shipping. I listed it again. Somebody offered me $30. I had it listed for 40 bucks and I accepted. I did spray it down with some Febreze and kind of let it air out just in case. Uh, so I haven't heard back from this person and it's been... Uh, it's been in their possession for a little bit now, so I'm assuming that they're happy with it. Picked up this lot of three 3XL Greg Norman golf polos, local thrift shop, paid at 25 cents per shirt, and got $21.60 plus shipping for the lot. Same thrift shop, same day that I got those Greg Norman polos, I found this brand new pair of Earth Spirit sandals. Never heard of them, but again, they were brand new with the tags. Listed them, and I think the next day they sold for my full asking price of $25. And that's everything, folks. Uh, everything that I sold on my eBay store this week. It was a, a fine week. Very happy with getting $400 in my pocket that I can turn around and reinvest in my business. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Until next time, happy buying, happy selling. We'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.